Coming up next on the BBC, Shafting Shadsworth, a filmmaker's guide. Have you ever wanted to con people you find disgusting into looking bad on TV? Have you ever wanted to create a documentary that undermines a small community? Have you ever wanted to kick a northerner because it makes you feel clever? Then our handy guide will give you some insider tips to help you on your way. This is Shafting Shadsworth, a filmmaker's guide from the BBC. Tip 1. Because the BBC is neutral and really, really nice, you must start your documentary with a positive story. It's important to make a news announcement stating that the show starts with a positive story, or some viewers might notice the two and a half minutes of negative stories before the positive story you allegedly start with. <laughs> we wouldn't want that, would we now? Tip 2. When you eventually do introduce your positive story, take the time to mix lots of depressing footage in. Go on, enjoy yourself. It's not like these are real people or anything. And don't forget, you can always stick the knife in further by dismissing their hard work, fighting against government cutbacks needed to support bankers as easy. But not everything can be fought so simply. There are problems here that can't be driven away by a petition or goodwill. Didn't that feel good? Mmm, acceptable forms of bigotry. Tip 3. If you do get some really nice happy footage of, for example, an attractive well-dressed woman doing the gardening, you can always impose your deep-seated hatred of the dirty poor by finding something unkempt. A shrub a few days overdue for deadheading, for example, and make it centre screen, even if that involves an awkward camera angle. Here's another way to release your ill-hidden loathing. Why show happy children playing on the swings when you can blur the footage and play miserable music over the top? You may even hide the sound of their joyful, innocent laughter. <laughs> Such fun! Tip 4. Make sure you interview the local shopkeep when he's putting the beer on the shelves. On no account show him putting out vegetables or pet food. Also, make double sure you've deleted all footage of the amazing local doctors. Church community allotment, and anything else that could help our society feel more united. All that ended with the Olympics, don't you know? Last of all, tip number five. No matter how devious your documentary has been, always remember to make sure you are keeping the most important people, the ones with power, happy. Absolve any past, current or future government of any blame or wrongdoing involving the scum-filled Ming Hall you have so eloquently exhibited in your documentary slash entertainment show. A tough place in tough times. At the edge of where the state can make a difference. And remember, the people of Shadsworth have never been to school. They won't know that you haven't shown your workings out. <laughs>